Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Zoo Tycoon. In the last video we played around with some dinosaurs and now we are going to experiment with marine animals in the Marine Mania expansion. My personal favorite as a kid because I've always had a bit of a fascination with uh, sea critters and going to aquariums was always quite fun for me being able to recreate that in a zoo also quite fun for me. Now in order to access the intermediate scenarios I had to play through all of the beginner ones which took me hours. So you're welcome I saved you all that time. Let's take a look and find a good scenario. Uh, there's four here. Oceans of the World, Save the Marine Mammals. Uh, free admission is always unpleasant just because, you know, you don't have uh, <laughs> the ability to get a lot of money. Aquatic Show Park could be kind of fun. We're going to go for Oceans of the World. It's pretty basic. It doesn't take three hours to complete because in Marine Mania, with a few exceptions, they actually did get rid of a lot of the requirements to just uh, have a clock, right? 18 months. That's been removed from a lot of them in Marine Mania, which makes it a lot better. Once you're done, you're done. We're going to go for Oceans of the World. It's a fairly simple, straightforward scenario. Still requires to make people pretty happy, but I think we can absolutely do that. Our main goal is to have a zoo with six different animal species representing four different ocean biomes. Uh, and we are going to start off in a very small park. There's not a lot of space to work with. Case in point, this is all we've got. Ouch. All right, so let's take a look at some of the zoo creatures that are available to us. We have some sharks, tiger sharks, manta rays, turtles, barracuda, whale sharks, sawfish, a few other things over here. Do we have other kinds of sharks? Um, hammerhead and tiger sharks kind of live in the same area, and probably, if we wanted to be really cool with it, we could probably put both of them in the same tank. Oh, that would be interesting. That would be one way of completing our uh, Tropical Oceans Worldwide requirement. Ooh. That might save us a lot of money. Uh, I think that could be worth it. But the only downside of tiger sharks is they like to have a very deep tank. Even so, I think that might be worth it. So let's go ahead and set up a new tank. And there's a whole bunch of different types of fences here. Really, all this does is create a good tank. Uh, we're going to set up probably here in the corner. Now, I don't think you can use the walls like you would somewhere else, right? Oh my gosh, you totally can. What? How did I not know this? All right, this is the shark tank. Yes, wait. That's not it. How? That's not. No, that's not what I expected. Okay, you totally can't. I was right. Unexpected. Okay. Um. Let's set up then along the wall. Like, why can't I? I can't. What? What? What is this nonsense? You can't place the fence there. Oh, that's stupid. Fine. If it wants to be that way, we will happily oblige. All right. The shark tank. It is. So this is our tank of water, and we'll go ahead and move our access point right over here. Now, tanks are a little interesting because there are many different animal types that like to have a much, much deeper tank than what you can start with. You can fix that. You can adjust the wall size, which costs a lot more money in order to raise it up. You could also reduce the base. Just drop the whole thing further in the ground. That would be an option. Um, for me, I think instead we're going to start with... We could start with the tiger tank, because I'm pretty confident these like a deep tank, and this will give me a good sense of what is actually going to be required. So, we don't have a lot of money. Man, this is actually going to be really tough. Um, let's go ahead and place down... Honestly, I think I'm going to place down just a couple of female shark tanks, and not go for uh, the ability to breed them. Because the more animals are in a tank, the faster it gets dirty, which is a little bit of a pain. Alright, so yeah, the tank is currently too shallow. Best thing to do is going to be to raise up the wall like that. Uh, that cost me a chunk more money. Still too shallow. Let's get another one. I think that's all I can afford at the moment, though. We will get ourselves an underground sea wreck so that we can have some sort of, um, shelter for them. We'll want to have another one in a little bit. Do we want to place a second one? I think we have the money. And the reason I'm going to do it ahead of time is because we're going to place hammerhead sharks in here as well. More shelters than necessary. Stop complaining. It's fine. We want to get the rocks down next. We could go for coral. Uh, undersea ruins, which are always fun, but instead I think rocks are probably better. I feel like there's a bug in the game where, um, if you go for coral or Atlantean stuff, it doesn't calculate the, uh, number of rocks that you need correctly. It should, but it doesn't. Now, here's one thing that I find very irritating. It's difficult to get and see the bottom of the tank sometimes. If I place right here, this does not go to this bottom corner of the tank, it actually goes onto the ground. So it sometimes is very easy to misplace everything. And you have to rotate your view, otherwise something like this happens, and your corners start acting a little weird. Right? They're not quite represented the way they should be. All right, so we're going to place those there. Um, place a couple over here. If the tank, by the way, gets too uh, deep and you like lower the tank all the way down, you won't be able to see the seafloor and do anything. So that's an easy way to lose a lot of money. That's too many rocks for them. Okay, now we can go to the foliage. Now you wanted 
I think it was the uh, duster worms. Hammerheads like seagrass. We're going to do a mix of both. Actually, you know what I could do? I'm just going to go ahead and place in a couple of hammerhead sharks now. See, these guys actually like having companions, different types of uh, sharks. So we're kind of engaging in the meta here, not doing two different tanks for two different types of animals. Um, let's go ahead and grab those duster worms. Like so. This makes everyone happy right now. So this is fine. Both of these types of sharks are pretty compatible with each other, I find. Uh, whoops, we actually placed that above ground. We didn't mean to do that. Okay, do that. We'll also place down some seagrass. Doop, 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 a doop, 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 a doop, doop, a doop. Up. Oh, some of them get sad and some get happy. Okay, so who's who's more suitable? You currently, the hammerheads have a suitability of 95. Tiger sharks have 94. I would rather continue making the uh, tiger sharks happy. We'll do a little bit of fire coral. That's probably good enough. So your suitability is now 94. Yours is 96. Okay, I'm going to get rid of one of these. Fire Coral. And that should even them both out at 95. Perfect. We have two different animals available in the same exhibit. Now, we are quite low on money, so I need to start meeting some of the other guest requirements, like having, let's say, a restaurant over here, like so. And then we need to have a bathroom as well. Um, Family-style bathroom's probably okay. It's more expensive and it's larger. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go for the large one, just to save myself a bit of time, place it back here in the corner, like so. Um, and we'll also grab some sort of an ice cream maker. We could actually go for something marine-themed. No, we, oh yeah, we do. We have the frozen yogurt stand. All right, I'll go ahead and place that there as well. Perfect. There are a few different kinds of buildings also available in Marine Mania. If you did have a wide section of just water, you could place down a boat rental shack or uh, swimming, or you could have people swim with dolphins too if you wanted to, which is kind of cool. Um, not sure we have the space to justify any of that, but there are some unique options. There's also something called a show grandstand. Now, if you have the right kind of animal, let's say sea otters, orcas, dolphins, and so on, what you could do is set up an aquatic tank for them and also set up a show tank really close by as well, and then place some stands so that people can watch an aquatic show. That's a new mechanic that was added in. It's not necessary for this scenario, but if I can get the money, I might actually create one anyway just so I can show you how that works because it is pretty fun. Now, we still haven't hired the staff to actually take care of these guys, so let's get ourselves a marine specialist, a new type that was added in. $800 a month, just like the zookeeper, but all they do is care for the marine animals and clean up their tanks. We'll place you in here like so, so we can get some food. If we didn't want to have to worry about cleaning up the tank, then what you can do then instead would be to get the tank filter, place it down over here or something like that next to the tank, and it cleans it automatically. Uh, that said, if it does break down or get emptied, it has to be, you have to pay a maintenance fee on them. Uh, and right now, our marine specialist only has one tank to take care of, so I'm not going to bother hiring that right now. But eventually, it is something we could do if we want to save ourselves a lot of time cleaning tanks. Now, one exhibit is not going to be worth really that much to me, and we're not going to have a lot of guests. I kind of need to get another one. Problem is, we don't have, like, any money at all, so, um... I guess we'll use the concrete edges here, and we're just going to create ourselves another tank, um, and hopefully we raise a fundraiser like right now. Thank you, $10,000, um, and then just make something new. We'll place probably like this, and this will be a porpoise tank, like so. And I'm hoping one, two of these might be enough to make them happy. Um... More animals of the same type. They want to have a lot more. All right, let's go for another female. Hopefully that's enough. It's too shallow. Of course it's too shallow. You're going to have to live with that for the moment. Let's go ahead and get some rocks and stuff in there right now. Uh, we'll start with a couple of large ones since we get better value for these. That's too many. Medium, too many. Small, a couple more of those. See, again, it's it's bugged. Like it, it, that, shouldn't be, that should be too many rocks now. But it's acting as if this still makes them happy. Uh, you can keep going forever, and eventually you'll say, there's too many, but they kept giving me, like, the happy sign. So I don't know what's going on there. I swear it's a bug. Sea sponges. A whole bunch of them. Should make things a lot nicer. And then if we can raise the size of the tank, I will gladly do so. Let's fill in these corners a little bit, because I hate the... Um, I hate I hate making it look stupid. Some sand dollars, just for a little bit of variety, maybe. Um, a little bit of seagrass. Nope, that's too many. Okay. Good enough. Um, now it's just... Oh, they don't like seagrass specifically. Oh, how about fire coral? Nope. More sand dollars? Oh, they do like those. That's too many, though. Okay. Still too shallow, and they just want to have a lot more of their type. Well, I guess we'll get another male. 
Um, I'm a little worried this tank is going to be too small now, but... Oh well, let's raise up the wall, and that's the best I can do for you guys. We're completely out of money. And now we're completely out of cash. Going into debt. Oh, I'm going into debt. This kind of freaking sucks, because I'm going into debt. Thank you for the donation of $2. You get a shout-out on my Twitch stream. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for the porpoises. They uh, are the Pacific Coast, which apparently does not count for the Pacific Ocean. Darn it. Now you can see here that the shark tank did get a little bit dirty, which uh, basically as it gets dirty, not only are guests unhappy, but the animals get less happy and they get start getting sicker. So the cleaner you can keep your tanks, the better. And right now, base guard marine specialist is just swimming around, scooping it all up, trying to clean up the tank. It takes a long dang time, which is one of the reasons those filters become such a tempting option. It's unfortunate that they are very expensive. Now, one thing that actually might have made these sharks happier is if I had made part of the cage with a concrete tank wall that people can't see through. Didn't think of that. Probably should have. Um, and now it's not really easy to replace the walls without losing many thousands and thousands of dollars. So, I think we're just sort of stuck with that, but that was a mistake. Interesting. Even with a tank filter installed, this tank still does get dirty sometimes. Um, I don't know if that has as much to do with the sheer number of animals, or maybe the variety of animals, therefore making it dirtier. Uh, I don't know. Either way, not optimal. Now, one little trick that could be used in Zoo Tycoon, and I only recently found out about this. Um, if I'm understanding correctly, admission prices for your zoo actually kind of work in tiers. Right now, a normal price would be somewhere between 22 and 29, as far as how it affects your guest happiness and park rating. So raising it up to 29, as far as I can tell, will not affect guest happiness at all. So I don't know if there's any reason not to just go ahead and max it out. I don't think that it technically affects the number of guests who might enter your park in the first place. I could be wrong on that point, but that is something that I have heard. So unless I'm very much mistaken, if I want to get this scenario beaten down, uh, I have no choice but to get a giant Pacific octopus. As far as I can tell, that is literally the only animal I have access to right now that does live in the Pacific Ocean, as opposed to the Pacific Coast. So, yeah, we're going to have to do that. Um, these guys, from what I remember, tend to like some privacy, so I think we will try to make some use of the concrete tanks this time around to be a little bit smarter. Maybe we can fill in kind of this corner right here. That might not be too bad. All right, let's go ahead and do exactly that. The one thing I do hate about octopuses, though, is, uh, if I recall correctly, they like a very, very, very deep tank. <sighs> Which is unfortunate. They also like to have caves as their decoration, so we'll definitely place at least one down there. I don't know if we'll need more or not. But alright, octopus time it is. One male, one female. They're gonna like to have some groups, but that's the best we can do, and they want to have a much, much deeper tank. Shocking. Rock, rock, um... Rock. Too many rocks. Other rock. Nope, still too many. Other rock? That's okay. Small rocks. As many of these as we want are fine, apparently. Um, and for foliage, I guess we could go for... Do you like two berms? You do. You like things being nice and deep, of course. So we'll go for some of those. Maybe some orange coral to kind of beautify things a little bit. Purple sea urchins? You like those. That's cool. Yep, fill in these corners a little bit. That was too many. Okay. Nope, no more foliage for you. Now it's just a matter of getting the tank... Nice and deep. Adjust, 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 adjust. And that costs me all of my money, but there is only a very small window with which people will be able to see the octopuses, which means they get to maintain some semblance of privacy, and hopefully that ends up being good enough for them. Oh, wow. Our uh, green moray eels gave birth to, like, four more. Awesome. Uh, the more animals are in a tank, as long as they're not unhappy because they're too crowded, then usually the more of a crowd pleaser that it is, so... That works out well for me. The other thing that I'm really trying to focus on is making sure we are beautifying the park wherever possible. Lots of flowers and stuff like that. Yeah, it costs a lot of money, but my thought here is, if we can improve the zoo rating, and those sort of things definitely help, then uh, if more people get attracted into the park, that could be good. That said, even though I am spending more on marketing than ever, the numbers are relatively flat. A little disappointing, but uh, a little difficult for me to control right now. 
Actually, the money side of things has always been one of the more frustrating parts of Zoo Tycoon, just because even with a pretty good park with very happy animals, pretty happy guests, and a good rating, it's still difficult to get a meaningful amount of money, and the time progresses so slowly that, you know, you only make a few thousand dollars a month and you have to just sit back and wait forever. And in the meantime, the zoo costs are really quite high. The more exhibits I have, the more expensive they get. I don't know, man. I've always thought that Zoo Tycoon could use a little bit of retweaking just to make it a little bit faster. Not necessarily easier, but faster to get the money so you don't feel like you're waiting around for absolutely ever. But no such luck, apparently. We're just going to have to sit here for a few months doing nothing but scratching our bum while we wait to have enough money to get another exhibit so I can finish the scenario. You know, actually, the thing that's working out really well for us in the zoo right now are private donations, surprisingly. Uh, not just the random events, too. Like, we're actually getting some pretty reasonable amount of money from that. What's going on here? Take a look at the tanks. Uh, that's donated a bit. The porpoises are worth a lot. Eels are okay. Octopus. Why is it acting as if we're getting all these extra, um... Why is it acting as if we're getting all these extra donations worth thousands and thousands of dollars if uh, it doesn't report it on the actual exhibits? I'm not too sure, but I'm not going to complain. We actually might have enough money to finish out the scenario now if we go for some beluga whales which live in the Arctic Ocean. All we need to do is have a couple of them. So we'll place one, two... They like to be in pods, so we'll have three for now. And I just want to have some other foliage and so on. Kelp is something they like. That's easy. Can definitely arrange some of that. Um, they probably can go ahead and enjoy the Atlantean exhibits a little bit, right? We'll just place a little bit of that. It's expensive and probably not worth it compared to actual rocks, but whatever. We'll do a couple. And then, once again, we can just overcrowd it with some small rocks, and the game just thinks that they're fine. Okay, and you guys like a kelp, right? So if we go for kelp down here... Kelp, 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 and we win the scenario! Let's continue for a minute, though, because I'm not quite done with this. This feels like it was a little bit fast. Yeah, it was a lot of sitting around waiting for money on my end. But still, I didn't get to show you all the cool stuff in Marine Mania, including the shows. So maybe that's something we want to do. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not sure we have the space to make that work. Uh, maybe you could get a dolphin tank over here, but enough room for a show tank that actually has some spots to, like, sit? Maybe. Maybe we can. It's going to be a little bit tight, though. Well, receiving a $25,000 cash bonus certainly does help. All right, so let's go ahead and set this thing up. So what I've done is created a few grandstands right here, which will be used to watch the show. And you do have to have some pathing in front of it in order for that to work. And then we're going to create a special type of tank right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spend the money to get an angled railing, because I just think it looks the best of the bunch. And then we'll set it up. Something kind of over here. Do, 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 like this. Okay, this is our show tank. Perfect. So the show tank now has to connect directly to a regular tank. And it doesn't actually matter what the shape is of the tank. That's the thing. You know, if as long as you have a certain number of squares in the tank, your animals will be happy. So the fact that we're going to have a dolphin tank or an orchid tank or something that's long and thin like this doesn't actually hurt me much at all. In fact, it doesn't hurt me at all. So let's go ahead and say that this is a dolph... Oh, come on. Dolphin tank. There we go. And these two are automatically connected as long as they are of the same height. You can see a little gate right here, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want. So let's get one, a quick filter in here, two, a couple of dolphins. Hello, bottlenose dolphins. We'll place one right here and a female right here. And that should do fine. And now we'll just build out the tank as normal. Wow, I actually got 100 suitability for the dolphins? Jeez, what are the odds of that? Alright, anyway. So one of the cool things you can do with these show animals is if you click on the show tank, right here, it will show you a script to create a show. You can set an admission price, which I'll just go ahead and set it like, I don't know, $6. And then you can have a whole bunch of different tricks and so on. Now, if we had some simple things like uh, a ball or a hoop, we could try adding in a few extra show items. So if we go ahead and go to this, show objects, a dolphin ball would be good. A dolphin hoop could also be good. So let's place the hoop right here, for example. The dolphin ball will rotate around to be right here. Perfect. And now if I click on the show tank, I can say that I want to add in playing with a ball and a hoop jump. And then anything else I want. And the more stuff we have in here, the longer the show goes, the more exhausted the dolphins will get, but the happier our guests will be, and the more we can justify charging 
our uh, our guests. So we'll throw in an extra tail walk there. Uh, let's do a simple jump at the beginning. Then we'll do a playing with the ball tail walk, uh, hoop jump, flip, then tail walk again, and that's how we will end the show. Okay, now you could set the frequency of this. Infrequent is sometimes pretty good, just so your uh, animals don't get exhausted. But I find that our dolphins are going to be happy enough that I'm not too worried, so frequent should be fine. And is our guy, yep, indeed, our marine specialist is already over here, getting ready to set up the show. Now we just have to wait for the guests to arrive. And the show is starting before anyone's arrived. Great, this is what I'm talking about, people being so slow. All these people are heading to the show right now. But it's going to take forever for them to get here and make me any money. All right, well, the dolphins are here. Yay, he did a little jump. Now he's going to play with the ball. Woo! Boo! whoop a da boo Okay. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, this guy, this one guy in the audience is so happy right now. He's having a great... He's like, this is the best price I have ever paid for a solo show. Actually, just because the guests take so long to get over here, it's one reason that I find it's usually good to keep your shows pretty close to the entrance, or at least the center of the map, if possible. Something relatively close by. That way, there's less time for them to get to the stands, and you actually can make some serious money. There we go. And it's actually already about to finish, so all these people are walking over here, and they're gonna find that it's already done. Pay the last bit of money. This is your last chance to get a seat. And there goes the show. And all these people are gonna end up being disappointed. Yeah, I wish that they gave you a lot more notice, so that the guests could start coming over here in time for the show, but that's an unfortunate mechanic in the game. Either way, that's something new in Marine Mania. If you have a bunch of different kinds of animals, orcas, uh, sea lions, dolphins, even sharks, certain kinds of sharks, can, in fact, do a show like this. And it can get pretty complicated. Hi, Santa. Good to see you here again. Uh, if we go to the Research tab for Marine Mania, um, not all Marine Mania, there we go. You actually can learn a bunch of different types of tricks. Orca tricks, great white shark tricks, and so on. Lots of stuff if you really want to improve your shows, make something really spectacular, get a load of extra happiness, and while you're at it, possibly make a little bit of extra money. Technically, we made $15 of profit from that show. That's not so bad. Anyway, that's where we're going to end this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, of course, will see you guys next time. <laughs>